Right, I'm climbing up and up from down there. I was right down there earlier, not very long ago. I'm climbing up this narrow cantock, which means small pathway. That's where they were named the Quantocks comes from and we've got the trees have really lost their greenery they've, they've really um, started to look creepy now but you can see there's even smaller cantocks where deer would go these smaller and sheep of course over there we've got the ladies edge and all that up the top there and I would like to be able to get to the tall pine trees on the other side there on the way back today to see what the memorial looks like to the World War I and the uh, Hundred Year Centenary. Now this, yeah, this, I think this might still be horse, these tracks going on all here. No fungi. Not really much fungi in and um, it's going to get very windy in a minute when I'm up the top, by the way. I've got a hat and scarf and gloves and everything in my bag. <sighs> but we will be going back down again. It's only we've got to just transverse a bit before we start going down. <sighs> it's nice to weave in and out the coom, really to get a complete picture. I mean, I've been all round, as you and everyone knows who watches my videos. Hey, this summer I've been everywhere. And uh, all round. I've been all round it. From West Barbara to East to West Quantock Head. All round. Now this is quite, quite often where the deer shelter along here, by the way. When I came with Amber and Daisy four years ago, it was green. I hadn't, it wasn't quite um, autumn. A deer sprung out, just sprung out of the bracken. And, I mean, they loved it, but it was quite scary. Yeah, of course, I've been all up there. Look. Walked all the way along the top there where the Beacon Hill is. Uh, Macmillan Way further over. We got, we'll have Hodder's Coombe going up and over, over that way. And then look down there, look, where I've just walked through that coom down there, see? See all that? That beautiful coom down there. Well, I've just walked all the way through that, hopping and skipping over the streams, trying not to fall in. But this is like a nice bed for the deer, you see? Nice and cosy and warm in the bracken. You know, snuggling down in that, imagine. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's how you just love it up here all the time. It's like Cheddar Gorge I love as well for the different displays of colour that we get. Yeah, I remember when I brought Amber and Daisy, the, the ferns were really tall and high. Much taller than them and we didn't really know where we were going. Um, I was, I had done it before but sort of half forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and at one stage I left them both standing there while I went up ahead to check we were all right for going the right way <laughs> they were a bit nervous when I'd done that but it was only for a second I didn't want to take them all the way up there and then um, we had to turn back look at that look at that everyone this is Holford this is the Quantock Hills the beautiful Quantock Hills. Look at them. And there's a tall bunch of trees in the distance there on top high. That's near Old Foxham Park. Those trees there are memorial trees planted to remember the people who served in the war and lost their lives at Kilve and Holford. And they will have a display there. So I'm aimed to climb up later when I go further about the coom. I'm going to find a pathway that goes up. And I'm going to go and see that. That's plan A. But anything can happen. Now I'm going on up there. I'm just turning off for a minute. Right, right up there is a load of 
deer. A lot of them have branded in very well. See there? I can see at least many deer. There's a big one there. Look. They're looking at me. They can hear me. Hi dear! There was a big stag there a minute ago. That, that's one looking up. Look, he's saying, oh, there's a human. It's a pity my camera... Oh, they're moving, look. It's a pity my camera doesn't... Um... See, this is, this is the payoff. They blend in so well. What, well, that looks like a deer, but it might not be. Well, I did see one with big horns a minute ago. He's blending in with the bracken. Let's see, they're looking over at me. There's one with the big horns. I can see one with big horns there. My camera won't get any closer though. I can see quite a few. There's a little family there of them. I knew they might be up here somewhere. I've taken some pictures. I'm just hanging on a minute because they might move a bit. Yeah, look, 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 there's one with the big horns. He's moving about. They're having a good feast up there at the moment. Yes, there's a stag with several does by the look of it. And it looks like there might be one in there as well, but I can't quite see. That's a big stag there in front of me, but he's eating, but you can... I can just make out his horns waving a bit as he moves and eats. I think the hunting season's supposed to be over, but then you've got poachers, haven't you, after that? They can see me. I can see them. They can see me. Right, you try to take a picture now.